Hey, Vinny Lips here from Off The Block, and the long eight months of darkness is finally over. We have some light. The college men's volleyball season officially begins this weekend, and we have some intriguing non-conference matches. And yes, I know it's December, but we got college men's volleyball before the new year. So here's a couple of matches you're going to want to keep an eye on in the upcoming days. First, let's start with the match that kicks off the 2017 season. UC Irvine is going to make a long five-minute road trip to take on Concordia Irvine, the new Division II school that's right down the road. I'm really intrigued with this non-conference matchup to start everything off, especially with the Anniers when we talk about what their starting lineup is going to consist of. You remember last season, the Anniers completely riddled injury-wise, really hurt them of what could have been a promising season, but Tamir Kershko returns. What position will he play? Will he play opposite? Will he play outside attacker? And then you have Michael Saeda, who went from center to opposite last season because of all the injuries and really flourished in that opposite position. So you know Coach David Niffin, he loves to fiddle around with the Lions, find that right combination. We're going to see many lineup combinations, I would assume, for the Anniers throughout the season. But I'm really intrigued to see what lineup combination he starts with. And then Concordia Irvine, real interesting program. This is a developing team that under Sean Patchell, they're, once again, they're moving from NAI to Division II. They're going to be joining the MPSF in 2008. So this is an opportunity for them to really send a message. Last season, they went 10-7. and However, 0-6 against current MPSF teams. And in those six matches, they only won one set. So... Big opportunity for Concordia Irvine on their home court. They have a really good outside attacker in Andrew Hammer. I'm intrigued to see what happens in this matchup. And then another one to keep your eye on is going to be Friday as Concordia Irvine. Once again, they're a non-conference match, but this time they're traveling to take on the Matadors of CSUN. You know, CSUN's number 14 in the ABCA in the ABCA National Coaches Poll, but I'm really intrigued to see what this team is able to do. Could this be the year that we see CSUN back in the postseason? We haven't seen it for a couple of years now, but they have some of the good pieces in place to potentially make a good run. When you look at their setter, Sam Porter, started last year as a fresher, did a very exceptional job. And then you have some dynamic pin hitters in Jacob Sisla, who was among the conference leaders in kills per game average last season, and then Demetria Kolachuk, who, as a freshman last season, earned off the block spring blocking, all freshman or freshman All American team honors, and he had one of the best serves in the nation last season. So there's some really good pieces in place for the Matadors, but I'm intrigued to see how all these things gel together. So once again, non conference play, good opportunity for both these teams to get some conference, non conference victories against a quality. Concordia Irvine opponent should be very interesting. So those are some of the actual matches that are going to take place. But two other matches to keep an eye on, or two teams to keep an eye on this weekend, are going to be in the MEVA, Ohio State, and Lewis as they travel up to Canada. These are going to be exhibition matches that they're playing against some of the Canadian schools. But once again, keep an eye on some of the starting lineup combinations that we see. Could be very interesting, especially with a young Lewis team that's trying to break in a new setter. And then Ohio State, the defending national champions, they block, they're looking to replace a good outside attacker from last year's championship team. Should be interesting to see who they have on the starting lineup. Well, that's going to do it for us here. Be sure to get all your men's volleyball news and analysis by going to offtheblogblog.com.